Hey everyone, as you like, you need to do something really cool. So, battle a leaked 30 second Battlefront 2 trailer was uh, leaked, obviously. I, I, I don't know if I can show it um, in this video because it is leaked, unless as as I'm editing this, they're like, oh, here you go, here's the, here's the uh, 30 second trailer. Cause, but even if I can't show it, they're going to be releasing a full trailer, which I can then do then. But from what you see, um, it looks amazing. It's like, I was always on the edge with Battlefront 2, but it looks great. We got. Prequel settings. You got a campaign, which I don't honestly, I don't can give two shits about because they got prequel stuff in it. I always thought I was like, okay, campaign, it's gonna be good, but I'd rather offline modes and prequel settings. They're giving it to us. Like I'm watching it right now. Obviously, I can't show you, but you got Tauntauns now in Hoth. You got Darth Maul and Yoda fighting. You got Ray and Kylo, and then it's got like the photo is literally of um, uh, a pilot. A, uh, an Empire pilot, Darth Maul on the left, and there's like there's a Sith, and then Ray as the right. Eh, Ray and stuff, I'm okay with there. And it, there's a stupid pre-order bonus, the Last Jedi heroes. Fair enough, but I mean, yeah, new heroes. Eh, I couldn't give. I'm, I mean, I I love like the prequels, and I literally just watched the prequels last night, and they are real good films, especially the third one, of course. Um, but this looks really good. It looks like they're really taking a lot of the feedback. And obviously they did because, well, they've made it look really awesome. Oh, my nose. Anyway. It looks great. So, what we can see is... I'll definitely, obviously, do it. We get to see a cruiser, which I can't remember if it's a new cruiser. for the From, like, the last... You know, Force Awakens, Last Jedi. Um, for the New Order. Or if it's possibly the prequel stuff. Oh, no, maybe it's not the prequel stuff. Because there's a bit where the girl's looking at an explosion of the Death Star and Return of the Jedi... Um, Anton Stora Soldier, which people are saying it's probably Phasma, because, you know, you got to make her a badass character, which you did not do in Force Awakens, so it's like, make her a kid, it might be her, it does, it does seem to have that little lisp, sort of, like, vo vocal range that, um, Gwendolyn, or whatever her name is, from Game of Thrones, actually says, like, talks, so, it could be, it looks good, though, like, oh, graphics look as you'd expect, it looks great, um, multiplayer battles just gets me awesome, because there's Stormtroopers, and you've got um, the at ats and then there's something from The Force Awakens. But Tauntauns, oh, I'm so happy about that. They brought, they, they, it looks like they're going to bring freaking Tauntauns, animals back. And then it's like across all eras, and then you're like, yes, yes. Force, um, Phantom Menace fight um, in the Phantom Menace area where Obi-Wan and um, Qui-Gon were fighting Darth Maul, and then you got Yoda in their place. Uh, I'm excited for that. Honestly, if you just come up and say, all of these modes are offline, I'm in. All these loads are off my line and stuff like that. I am totally in. And I might actually get this. If I do, I will want to get it with the free month. You know, pay $10 for a month of EA Access. At least here in Australia. No, maybe it's $7. One of those. Um, yeah, month of EA Access, you get like $10 off the price. And uh, you get a month to get to play it early. I might do that. It really depends. But so far, it looks really freaking good. Um... Even though I probably won't be able to show it, I can put a link into the Vimeo or even the Reddit place where it is at and hopefully you guys can see it. It looks good. Thank you, EA, for listening. And I'm very happy. Thank you. You know, Aussie Viking out. I'll do I'll definitely do when the full trailer's released and talk over it and stuff like that. But yeah, Aussie